Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 3 of Italy. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, in uh, by the end of this year, Northern Italy will finally be completely incorporated with Naples in the south. Hey, we got an achievement, Port Hall of Masses. Have a cultural migration target in one of your states. Okay, well, thank, thank you. Achievement unlocked. How many more years do we have of this? I think... Eight? Because it's 30 years in total we get official nationality. And as long as we do not... We now have free trade. I think that's good. Again, the trade unions don't like it, but fuck the trade unions. Like, who, who cares about what they have to say? Okay, get rid of these uh, trade links for now. Because what's expensive? Artillery. If we were to just... You're unproductive. If we were to build artillery within our own country, which we which we are a little bit... I mean, how much are we making? 105? Let's upgrade you to be... Uh, let's say level 10 for now. Upgrade our arms factory. Italians in reserve 1. I don't, I don't see that there's a reason to hire a new general for one division. Market access. Again, this should eventually sort itself out. Again, okay, we do need more convoys. We could export some stuff to France. They don't need convoys. It'd make us 5.2k in tariffs. Hell yeah. Let's export you. And we can export you to the Qing. It basically will make us no money whatsoever. So let's not do that, at least for the time being. What I am kind of curious, though, is maybe an invasion of China. Just to get, you know, if anything, Italy should have its own treaty port, right? That's at least the way that I see things. I'm thinking, like, maybe we do something like this. Maybe we just invade our way into Geldi. I mean, what states do you have? You just have Geldi. Um, information on Geldi. Do you have any allies? Probably not. No, you do not. Do you have... I mean, what resources do you actually have in this area? Do you have j literally anything? Iron... No, you have tea plantation. Is that really something that we care about? I think this is all one state. Logging camps. Banana plantations. Honestly, like, there's nothing that great. I'm kind of, if anything, I'm kind of leaning more towards we should expand our way into Asia because I know eventually um, we're ve we're going to want to get ourselves hands on opium. Opium is going to be very, very important uh, as time goes on here. Like, do any, like, some of you guys make opium, right? Zero out of 84. You could make opium. You're not doing it right now. E plantations. Do you guys have any opium? I mean, I know usually the East India Company, like 25. Afghanistan has a little bit. You've got three. Is there... There's not, like, a uh, resource map, right? Like, I can't just, like, search states which have high opium production. I don't think so. That's the outlier. The map list. Not you. National GDP center, living states. I mean, you listen by GDP. What, what state makes the most uh, money? Home counties, which I think is like London. North Bengal, Rhone, Burgundy, Kapani. Apparently, Kapani is actually one of the richest states on Earth. Congratulations to us. But that doesn't really answer my question about... Country attitude, relations. Strategic living... Or, no, strategic regions, I should say. Well, who has an interest in Ethiopia? Apparently Austria does, and I'm not even too sure why they do. Wait, what? There's a crisis. There is a, a civil war. A potential civil war in Austria. 
You're confident. You're confident and you're cocky. A very, uh... I was like, what are you? You're a pariah, 181, or 182 versus 83. I mean, the aristocratic revolt should end up winning this Austrian civil war, right? Who even are you? You're Dennis. Okay, so we got Dennis versus the Habsburgs. I'm leaning toward, well, what's everybody else support? Almost everybody supporting Austria versus uh, the, ar the aristocratic revolt. But I think I would prefer, quite honestly, to... I'm not going to support you. But I'm just going to give you a little nudge being like, Hey, I support your endeavor to weaken Austria. Because at some point I do want to you know, move troops into the area. Chemical bleaching. What do I want? What do I want right now? Labor movement, probably not. Bureaucracy and influence could be good. 5% prestige. Do I have anything that would give me more technology bonuses? Four years of research, four years of research. Maximum cash reserves. I don't like I don't know if we'll ever be even near our maximum, so I'm not I don't think that's really a big deal. And I mean it's definitely not gonna be in production, right? Almost certainly not. Canneries, rail cars. You actually do you need oil? Hangar cars for oil rigs. Okay, well, I don't think we have any oil rigs. I don't know if anybody in 1857 has oil rigs, to be honest with you. Bureaucracy. I've, again, I really wish that there was an actual search function here. What do I need? Um, if we go to buildings, patent stills, furniture. Okay, I don't think we need to worry about you. Tool, we'll go to upgrade this. Chemicals, make sure you're doing ammonia soda. Uh, soda. And you're all fine. But if I go down to the university, I want to upgrade you to the analytical philosophy department. You need analytical philosophy. Fair enough. Where is... It, it's a level 5 tech. Okay, so it's pretty far down. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's get the labor movement. Just for right now. The fabric is expensive. We still have enough transportation still. We need more lead. We're number nine producer. And where do we actually have lead industry? We have lead mines. Where are they? In Saxony. Cash reserve is pretty good. I'm going to upgrade you to be level 10. Hopefully that'll be good enough. And then our rail cars... Uh, in development, railroads. We'll go for Campania. Well, thing is, like, I don't have any... I don't know anything about these northern states. Probably because they're not incorporated. I'm assuming once they're incorporated, we'll get access to all their factories. Assuming... I mean, they're at zero. Why are you at zero? You have no cash reserve. It's probably due to the fact... Productivity zero. And it dropped. I mean, dropped pretty harshly. Is that when we, is that when we incorpor start beginning the incorporation? I don't think so. Is it because we don't have we don't have explosives and we don't have enough uh, transportation for them? I mean, that might be the case, yes. Can I go up to uh, expanding our industry again? Or our construction sector? I mean, we have access to you now. If we were to go to Iron Frame, it would give us 12 more development points. But it costs us 11,000 pounds. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I know it's expensive, but... I think this will work out uh, for us in the end. And our rail, our rail cars. Put that to the top of the list. Actually, we'll finish this wheat farm and then worry about the rail cars afterwards. Like, we're still making good money. Six more weeks and all of North Italy will be uh, fully incorporated. Okay, so I'm guessing you guys are now at war. 
right? Yes. So there's currently a war between Austria and the Aristocratic Revolt. The Aristocratic Revolt has significantly more units. But Austria is allied to Greece, the Dutch, Scandinavia, and to Krakow. They have a lot of potential options for them, for sure. And what are your artillery pieces? Yeah, I mean, we're trying to get more of that. Okay, we're now almost not in debt. I think by the end of this week, holy hell. And you're now incorporated. All of North Italy is now an incorporated state, but all of you also need transportation, which we're not, we're not getting so much. So we probably actually, we, we actually desperately need to increase um, rail development for sure. Alt Q for the top of the construction. So I need to do shift alt. Did North Italy, did North Italy not have a single fucking train? Like they had no railroads in the entire north of the country. Okay, I think shift alt doesn't do what I thought it might, but. Get some more railroads, throw those to the top of the list. Again, make sure these ones that are already being built get finished first. Yeah, so get all that stuff done. We're, ma we're making good money. Large of South German people have begun migrating to the state of Texas. O okay. I, I don't see how that has anything to do with me, but I'll take it. Piedmont's a negative eight. Yeah, it's, actually, it's not so bad. Oh, and we're not even trading with Austria anymore. Which makes sense, because they're in the middle of a massive war. So do I have any- do I have anything? I mean, we could trade with Prussia a little bit. You know, let's trade with the Aristocratic Revolt, that's kind of funny. Human rights, anarchism... Colonial Fader steel frame buildings. Definitely can't afford that. More minting. What's our- what else should we make from minting right now? 29,000. Let's take you for a bureaucracy bonus. Colonial affairs, law enforcement, education, trade routes. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on for sure. Why do I need, wait, why do I need trade routes with France? But I think, are the, all the trade routes with Russia, uh, with France kind of broken right now? Due to the fact that I think it's trying to actually go overseas. Tuscany market access. Or is it because there's no train? Wait, do we need trains all through North Italy to actually do stuff by, by land? That doesn't seem right. But I don't know enough about logistics to, uh, to doubt it. So, you know, let's just get that done now. Development railroads. And you have 45% production boost. Capania is, is has a lot of bonuses. You know, let's let's fucking crank that shit up. Hell yeah. And we're, ma we're making good money. Can I bankroll you? Austrian uh, aristocratic revolt. Bankrolling to 300. We transfer 39,000 pounds. We don't have central banking. Okay, so we actually can't just give them money until we, invent, uh, until we invent that. I'm sure we'll get there eventually. And Russia's at war. Russia, why are you at war? Because you're attacking Saxe Weimar. I mean, again, I understand why Prussia or why Russia would want to defend Saxe Weimar from the uh, from the Prussians, due to the fact that hey, uh, a strong central power, uh, strong Germany in the middle of Europe probably is not great. How's our colonia going? We've got two days on you. Do we have anywhere else we can start colonizing? Must have an interest over in the south. I mean, Azula's also centralized, so we can't just, like, colonize there. What if we colonize... Take an interest out of Egypt, right? Put it in South Africa. Maybe we can get a colony over here. Maybe in Hera or uh, Nama. Just something like this. The intelligentsia, they hate us. Negative two. Well, is there a law that you guys would um would want? We can't get rid of autocracy. We need it. 
even though everybody fucking hates it right now, we need it for our uh, 10 year or 30 year bonus. Actually, or, or can I change it? Well, right now, it will fail if, if we're just not uh, autocratic. We fail immediately. So we're definitely not going to do that. Um, interventionalist, agrarian laissez faire. I mean, nobody really likes interventionalist, but everyone basically doesn't give a shit about it right now. So let's not even worry about it. Legal guardianship. You know what, women? The Catholic Church is not going to be happy with that. The rural folk are not going to be happy with it either. But we could give women a little, some rights. The poor laws, migration control, healthcare system. We can, go, we can go up to private health insurance. The industrials like it. But, I mean, we don't really need to get the industrialists to like it. They're not our, um... They're, they're not the ones that hate the government. So, you know what? Women, congratulations. Uh, so we can get the Intelligentsia and the Landowners will actually both give us some bonuses off this. We're going to allow women. You can own property in Italy now. This is a new Italy. Yeah, you'll be done in just a moment. And yeah, I think we just established a colony down here. Let's go to... Do we want to go to Hera or we're going to go to Nama first? Well, what, what do they actually have? Information. Coal, I mean, you got coal. You, okay, I, th I think Caroland is a little bit better. So let's establish the colony over here. 690 days, fantastic. Like, what do you actually have? Logging camps. Well, have I built anything? I've not built anything in our colony. So we, like, we established a colony just to kind of have it. Not even exploiting the resources there at all, so we probably should do something like that. You know what, dye plantations? I don't think we can build dye anywhere else in the country. So congratulations to uh, Kenya. You get to build dye plantations. We'll go straight up to, let's just say a level 5. It sounds more than reasonable down there. We do need to build a port. And you know what? Fair enough on that. Development, port, build... We'll alt-click it just so that goes straight to the top of the list. But that'll uh, resolve itself eventually. We do need more artillery. Never mind. Artillery is actually pretty good now. But what we really need is transportation. We're the number four producer, but yet we just don't have enough. In Austria. Yeah, Austria's going to get completely crushed by the Austrian aristocratic revolt. And basically, they're going to get rid of the Habsburgs. They're going to place them with the Devons. And there we go. Austria is now led by Dennis. We fucking love Dennis, man. 71%? 71%? Like, what's, what's mine right now? 70 How do... I mean, I guess it was the arist aristocratic revolt. But maybe it makes sense that 71% of their power would come from the aristocrats. <laughs> So we either get armed forces of the T bourgeoisie. The rural folk are negative two. The intelligentsia are at eight. So we actually would get ten off this. Much better for us. Edmont. Yeah, I don't know if we really need to increase our taxes that much. At least not yet. That that's where uh that's where's my that's where my thoughts come in right now. The duel! Between the heir apparent and a general. We, should, we could ban dueling. Landowners get negative two. Uh, I don't even know. Too many of these fucking things on my screen. The landowners are negative. You know, we could actually do this. Okay, we, do, we just ban dueling in the country. You're not allowed to just shoot the heir of the nation, right? That seems a bit absurd. But I do think that at least for right now is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anselm. If you enjoyed my thumbs up, not to be close thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.